gosh, look what we found. This is amazing. The reaction by local dolphin trainers when one of their animals found a piece of naval history more than 130 years old. It was like finding buried treasure about a mile and a half offshore from the Hotel Del Coronado. New at 6, 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence with the naval artifact that has Washington historians buzzing. Kept in a saltwater tank to protect it, you're looking at a relic that hasn't seen daylight in more than 130 years. And if it weren't for one of the dolphins in the Navy's Marine Mammal Program... It's just a routine daily training and we happened to stumble upon it. Even then, Braden Duryea said they weren't sure what they had. Well, this is what it looked like before it was placed in a saltwater tank. A closer look on the tail section revealed a stamp, USN number 24. And after some research, they knew it was a Howell torpedo. The design is from the 1870s, produced in very small numbers. There were only 50 ever produced to begin with. Of the 50 Howell torpedoes that were made in the 1880s, only one prior to this was known to exist. This is it on display at the Washington Naval Shipyard. The device had a flywheel that would be powered up by steam. That stored energy in that flywheel could uh, propel it up to 25 knots and up to a range of 400 yards. Just two sections of the torpedo were found, 90% of which were buried in the ocean bottom. And it would have stayed there were it not for the uncanny ability of the dolphins. At the Point Loma facility, dolphins and sea lions are trained to detect mines, as well as provide security in some areas as seen in this exercise. But there are Services will be slowly phased out or at least reduced as technology for unmanned underwater systems and mine detection improves. The dolphins possess this fantastic biological sonar which can't be matched by any man-made technology at this point. So for now, housed in these pens, the training as it has since 1960 will continue. As for the torpedo discovery... We thought it was just a piece of junk, more or less, and we were trying to get rid of it, and instead it turned out to be something of historical significance. Bob Lawrence, 10 News.